I want to take you through how I built my Franken Pie, which is my combination of a Pi Star from a Raspberry Pi Zero and an APRS tracker from a Raspberry Pi Zero into a Pi 3 with both softwares attached. So first thing I did, I had them both running independently. The uh, Raspberry Pi here for the uh, tracker would just simply plug into this little additional dongle. There's my GPS tracker, connected it up in the car, put it on uh, my phone as a hotspot, worked fine. Same thing with the, uh, with the uh, zoom spot for uh, Pi Star. Used this little case that came with it, connected it up, worked fine. No problem having them both independent. And I could have left it like that and just run two little pies in my car, but I decided I wanted a little bit of a challenge. So I merged them both into a Pi 3. You can check out my blog and read about the software, which is really the hard part. The easy part was really kind of getting them into this case. So used a Pi 3 instead of a Pi 4 because it's what I had and it runs on more traditional power supplies. Uh, I didn't need to use a special power supply for it like you'd need to use with the Pi 4. So uh, what I did was uh, had this little case uh, and I had to make two modifications to it. First one, you can see I had to make a little notch in the top here. Uh, and that was to accommodate the antenna. And then the way this case is set up, the uh, zoom radio unit is just a little proud of the side of this case and doesn't quite match uh, where the case had a slot for the um, GPIO output. So what I did was I grabbed my uh, Dremel tool and while I was doing this, I popped it out and I just made a little... Uh, notch there in the um, in the side of this to uh, accommodate uh, that seating in and on it goes makes it very easy to uh, get it all together in one unit so we'll put that back together we'll get the top going here uh, and we will connect it up connecting it up fairly easy First of all, you want to make sure that you've got uh, a good amount of power to use. A lot of cars have um, a lot of cars have USB already, but you may want to take this on a bike ride, take this to field day, uh, whatever. So I use an anchor battery, and I will just uh, plug that up and push the button that starts up the power you the power uh, system GPS gets plugged in here and that's a simple plug I went with a GPS that's a puck a USB puck as opposed to a GPS that is wired into the GPIO which I've used a lot but since the um, zoom radio hotspot takes up all the GPIOs I didn't want to get into additional uh, setup. So uh, for this uh, methodology, $19 on Amazon and I'm ready to go. So ultimately what's going to happen here is I will take this Pi, I will connect it up in my car, I will use it uh, as a uh, with my phone uh, to uh, make it as a hotspot uh, and be able to communicate back and forth. Uh, the Pi Star here is just about started up. We're going to let it go uh, a little bit. The tracker and the Pi Star are automatically configured to start up. So all you really need to do is plug it in, have your uh, internet connection going. I'm using wired right now just uh, as a, uh, on the bench, if you will, uh, but a way you can go from there. So uh, I believe we're pretty close to ready on the uh, Pi Star. So let me try and make a quick call via Parrot just to confirm it works. This is N4BFR on Parrot. This is N4BFR on Parrot. I'd say that's a success. Uh, the other thing you can do, go to the one of the websites like APRSDirect.com or APRSFI, and it will show you uh, where your tracker is. So if you go to one of those, put in N4BFR. Right now this is uh, N4BFR-12 uh, if you want to 
kind of look and see where I'm at out and about. So, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Hope you'll check out some of my other YouTube videos. Read the blog about how it all goes together. Lots of instructions there. And we'll talk to you soon.